Okay, now we're going to convert octal to binary. And this, if you have your table written out, is also very easy. Uh, you just look at your octal number and then look for that number up on the table. We'll start on the right hand side with the 7. And we see 7 is the same as in binary, 1, 1, 1. And then the number 5 is in binary, 1, 0, 1. And so this binary number is equivalent to 5, 7, base 8. Okay, let's do another one. 206 as an octal number, so it's base 8. We want to convert that to binary. And so we'll look up the 6, and it is 110 from our table. Then we look up 0, and it is 000. zero, zero. Now just because it's zero doesn't mean you can leave it off. It's, uh, it, it's taking up column weightings here, and so it's important to keep all the zeros. And then with the number two, we have zero, one, zero. Now we could leave off the very leading zero. That's not needed. But in any case, that converts uh, the octal number 206 to this binary number, base two. And then finally, 159. Well, it is not an octal number because why? It has a nine in it. So that obviously is uh, not octal. And so we will not do that conversion.